I just would be interested overall, what are your thoughts on the way that Jill Stein has been treated by the corporate media um, following the 2016 election? Well, I was part of an advisory group to Jill, and I advised her not to go to that RT thing. Why? And in fact, well, I thought it was a setup. RT is, you know, Russian propaganda. There's a lot of good programming on it, and they don't really interfere with that. You know, Chris Hedges, Larry King, you know, I don't know if Larry's still on there, Tom Hartman. Um, but there's also, when the news comes from central headquarters, they get all kinds of crazy conspiracy people on there. You know, all the LaRouche people, you know, the Lyndon LaRouche, right. you know, conspiracy people and others. Um, so I didn't trust them. And actually another person said, uh, you know, they could take a picture that would just overshadow everything you say. And she thought she'd give a message. She was encouraged by a lot of people in the peace movement. So she went. And that picture, Putin, it, you said she sat down with Putin. No, Putin sat down at the table with her for just a few minutes. Right. Picture snapped. Flynn is there. She don't know Flynn. Nobody knows Flynn. Um, and Putin leaves. And then Sputnik International, another state media, puts it out on the media. And then, you know, what's their purpose? You know, divide us in this country. You know, the liberals from the more radical elements. Um, and then MSNBC, CNN, Fox, put that picture out there and a lot of print media again and again and again. <laughs> They're doing it for Russian propaganda. That was the, what the Russians wanted. I mean, it's so ironic. Uh, so, you know, the media is, uh, you know, they're following this uh, Russiagate thing, which I think is serious. I think Trump ought to be impeached. I think it's obvious he saw collusion. He did collude. Him and his son and his, you know, his son-in-law. And, you know, it's all over that first volume of the Mueller report. It's all over there. I mean, you know, when people say, oh, it showed no collusion. No, it didn't. It says, you know, Mueller says right away, I didn't talk about collusion. I talk about narrow legal definition of conspiracy. Plus, I can't indict a president, according to this OLC letter in the uh, Justice Department. He just laid out the evidence for prosecutors, which has to be Congress. You don't have to have the quid pro quo where they got together and plotted. I think more he was played by the Russians, you know, a useful idiot. They figured they could do more with him than they could with Clinton. So they had an interest. I think they definitely want him to elect. I mean, I think that's pretty clear. It doesn't mean they, you know, said, let's make a deal and we'll do this if you do that. But they still, you know, they obviously intervened. And, uh, you know, that's a problem. And it's a problem for a candidate to accept that. Part of the Mueller report is uh, suggesting that Julian Assange and WikiLeaks played a role in this. Um, that's not what Julian Assange was, was just arrested for. He was arrested for um, the leaks that came back in, in 2010 or 2011 about Iraq. Um, but I just would be interested in your take on that. Do you think that WikiLeaks was involved in this Russian plot? I don't know if they were working for Russia. Assange was working for himself. And I have to tell you, you know, him giving the advice to Donald Jr. that you should protest the election if you lose. I mean, he's dealing with the son of a Klansman becoming president, an out and out racist who is encouraging, you know, the right wing that's armed to come out and cause mayhem. I mean, those politics are really bad. So, you know, if he has, if he ends up going to trial, we may find out more. I don't think he should on this uh, 2010 charge. Uh, that's a whistleblower thing. He was a publisher. Um, and he should be defended. Um, but his politics in 2010, you know, trying to give advice to Donald Jr. for the campaign, you know, working with Trump, that's, that's bad. You know, I don't support that at all. I you, would, you know, so that's my, that'd be my criticism of Julian Assange. Now, how much he speaks for the whole WikiLeaks organization? Probably does, because one of his defenses was that was on WikiLeaks, uh, not him personally. Uh, but pretty much everybody understands it was him. Um, and whether that was with the Russians, I, that I think is not documented. You know, you know, they, there's circumstantial evidence. It's like, well, where are the WikiLeaks about, you know, Putin? Um, that's the Panama Papers. <laughs> you know, a lot of stuff came out about Putin and his wealth there. So, um, 
So I, you know, that remains to be seen if, if he was working with the Russians or being, or just biased with them. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll see, I'm not sure. Um, but he should not be prosecuted for publishing the leaks from um, Bradley Manning or what's he call himself? Chelsea. Chelsea. In terms of 2016 though, I do have to ask too, just because what WikiLeaks released in 2016 was emails showing that the DNC was colluding with the media um, and with state parties and specifically against Bernie Sanders and plotting against Bernie Sanders. Do you think that it is a crime to expose that? No, not for WikiLeaks. The crime was hacking. That's a crime. Um, Assad says he didn't get it from the Russians. Uh, the intelligence community says the Russians did it. Maybe Assad is saying he got it from a cutout. You know, the Russians gave it to somebody who gave it to him. And he's not really lying. You know, I think we'll find out in the end. Uh, her meeting with Assad, I wouldn't have done that. In fact, you know, that was another offer that Jill got, and she didn't do it. Uh, really? Our advice. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, when did she get that invitation? Uh, 2015. Um, and, you know, to go with a, uh, a delegation under control of the Assad regime is, you know, that is, that is for their purposes. You're not going to, particularly in the middle of a civil war, you're not going to be able to find out what's really going on or interview the other side. Right. So it was, I think it was, she was well, it's like, uh, it's kind of like the Jane Fonda thing back in Vietnam, right? I mean, it's, it's, uh, you going to be used as propaganda. You're not really. Well, I would say much worse to go right. to Syria under the circumstances with Assad. I mean, this guy's a butcher. He tortured that Canadian engineer, Syrian Canadian on behalf of the CIA. And, you know, New York Times last week had a story and Democracy Now! had the reporters of uh, documentation. There are over 100,000 uh, political prisoners, tens of thousands dead um, in this country and tortured. It's, uh, it's brutal. Um, so, yeah, that, that would not have been a good one to take.